30 years for nothing. This isn't about me but for my dad. My dad has been with his company for 30 years working with heavy machinery. After hitting his 30-year mark he was considering on retiring fairly soon. He's much older now and he understands his body isn't the same. A few years ago his company had been bought out. Everything the original company had promised him had been wiped out and now he's too scared to retire for fear of losing his insurance. He recently had a fall at work. Usually a fall doesn't seem like much. But with the way he landed he ended up overstretching some muscles in his arm and ankle. They had to put him his arm in a cast and he has a slight limp. After a few days of being out he started getting messages asking when he plans on returning. He struggles to stand up from his seat. I can see him stressing about this. 30 years for what? For a pat on the back and a handshake? For a great job? When he hit his 30-year mark he was given a paper certificate acknowledging his loyalty for the company. My mom was pissed. She ordered him a plaque instead. With a photo of him posing with the company logo. Company loyalty doesn't mean shit. Edit yes. He is on workers' comp. The messages were coming in prior to the company receiving a doctor's note. Informing them his cast has to be on for two weeks. I should have added this. My apologies. If the previous company promised him a pension or other type of retirement plan the new company has. To honor it. It's an ERISA violation if they don't. Company loyalty hasn't meant anything for a long time. It's cutthroat and the only thing that matters is the bottom line. People should get what is due to them. If he fell at work, he needs to see a workers' comp lawyer. The company may or may not be following the law on it. But even if they are they will do the bare minimum. Seriously. He needs to see a workers' comp lawyer. My grandfather worked for a sizable company for 43 years. He was to get a fat pension. Just before he retired the company was taken over by an even bigger company that still exists. Upon retiring he was told surprise no pension he and other employees tried to take action but. The laws are on the side of the company. They were all screwed. He was never the same. Company loyalty died a long time ago. I've been with my company for almost 20 years. I just survived my fourth layoff round over last few years. I'm looking for a new job but I'm 47 so may have issues due to age. This is why unions should exist for every non-executive position in the entire national workforce. The older I get I begin to be swayed in direct of the outlying risk of unions financially. Supporting political candidates I don't agree with might outweigh the risk of companies fucking people on a daily basis over with no legal repercussions. Fall at work is a workers' comp issue. He needs to declare it and go to a doctor. The doctor clears him for work. From what I'm reading I'm guessing that he didn't go this route. We need to look into establishing more companies as coops where workers own a piece of the company. Where they work. Why should we slave away building wealth for someone else when we know there are better alternatives out there? We must continue to push for co-ops or something where workers get more of a say and stake in where they work. The current system is rife with holdover ideas and policies from slave labor era. It is just wrong. My father worked as an industrial electrician for 35 years at the same company. Right before he was to retire, company went bankrupt and he lost 75 of his pension. But the top tier corporate bosses of course cashed out. Companies don't care about you or deserve your loyalty. Never trust anything they say that isn't in a signed contract and don't ever put them before yourself. Or your life. They will suck you dry for everything they can and then toss you on your ass the second you aren't an asset to them anymore. No matter what they say. 
Let me guess. American and no union? If you fall over dead your company will advertise for your replacement the same day. Man at the bare minimum if you can't get the early retirement plan down your dad should start. Realizing the company doesn't care about him and choose his own route. Which might involve a lie or two and acting like it hurts more than it actually does. I knew this. From a young age. My grandfather. Who was part of the greatest generation. Had a job in a machine manufacturing. Worked his way up over those years to managing the place. As he got older, had a heart attack. And at that time, while in the hospital senior management decided to try and push him out. Brought on a younger guy to be his assistant. Only a year later, they ended up letting my grandfather go and moved his assistant into his position. Thankfully, in those days he had a company pension. But the way the company acted I knew. No matter what there is no loyalties between workers and a company. You need a good workers comp lawyer and to start shielding your dad from wrongful termination now. Make sure they don't try and remove earned benefits. His wife spent money on a plaque and a photo of him posing in front of the company logo. Boomers begrudgingly swallow rich PPL loads huh? Only in the US. The land of the free and brave. Beat of luck to your father. I'll never be loyal to any employer. I work and they pay. Only an idiot could think that you matter to a company or medium-sized business. People have the shock of their life when they realize this. This actually breaks my heart. My grandfather was treated the same after giving decades of his life to a company doing tool and die work and giving them patents to his ideas that he never got paid for. He recently had a fall at work where's their blame, there's a claim. When he is asked when he is returning to work his only response should be this when work comp. Doctors release me. Also, if he doesn't have a copy of his statement describing the accident he should get one in the event the company starts asking him to tell them what and how it happened. If he mistakes the smallest portion of his original statement some companies will use that to push. For a false claim, I watched that happen in my company. Company loyalty doesn't exist it's why loyalty of employees, especially those of younger generations, doesn't exist tit for tat. After a few days of being out he started getting messages asking when he plans on returning. Whether he's been there 30 day, 30 months, or 30 years, they don't give a flying fuck about him. To them, the only value he has in this world is how much he can produce for their bottom line. He's like the belt on your alternator. What do you do when it becomes old and frayed? You throw it away and replace it with a new one. A few years ago his company had been bought out. Everything the original company had promised him had been wiped out. This is a lesson everyone should learn. Even if the company you currently work is great for real and you are absolutely convinced there's no way they'd screw you over. There is no guarantee they'll be the same company in the future. Don't offer loyalty to anyone or anything who can't guarantee loyalty in return. There is no loyalty. Never was. Young people know this and it drives corporations crazy. He should be receiving some sort of compensation for his fall at work. I mean, yeah, by the amount of time anti-work has been on the net, we'd be aware with stories like this by now. But you know what? Even after seeing things like this happen over and over again, people in the working class still seem to repeat this mistake. You'd think that your employer doesn't care about you working an X amount of years and will totally screw you over before retirement. But what's wild is that people are still well on their way to meet the same fate. So how many stories like this are we going to hear before people start waking up?